yung reaction mo kanina nung ina-explain how you were selected. Kasi parang nagulat ka dun sa marketability and nung iba ka na. So, why such a reaction from you? Uh, it's just the trust, you know. I appre you have to appreciate your trust. Because without trust, there's nothing. So, I'm just happy to be here in the same room as everyone again. We've all been together here for a few times already, so I'm just so excited to work with these guys. I, I, I actually told them that I want to make a full length, um, full English film, so that's something I've never done yet. So, with that being said, uh, the person came now. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And then for our Filipino actors, Dylan, Sarah, Christiana, and Pika, since you're all newbies, kasi, right? you were. You have yet to do projects that I am not bidding or anything. So, how do you think this partnership will elevate your careers in terms of acting? Yeah, so like I said um, earlier, like I'm all about like growing and learning, and this is not only a, par a partnership between two managements, great managements. Um, this is also a partnership between managements from different countries. So definitely like having the knowledge that I have here in the Philippines, plus having knowledge that I will learn from from Singapore. And then um, I overheard that there will be Thailand and all, all these other countries. So that is, you know, that is irreplaceable. That is knowledge or is something that no one can ever take away from me. And that is something, that is a goal for me. So yeah, that is how, that, that's what I think. Um, I'll get any gain from this collaboration, yes. And more friends. They're very easy to talk to. They're very polite. <laughs> um, uh, talking to them earlier, sure, it's a plus when we're doing roles, when we're doing movies that we all get along. There has to be the trust, the chemistry. And talking to them earlier, like it's like we've been friends for a while. It's very easy to talk to them. So they also seem like um, they, they take their work Seriously, like they love what they do. If you if you hear about like the achievements they've had in their careers, you would be very impressed. So yeah, that is also something I'm very much looking forward to working with them and TCP management. Um, I believe that with this partnership, we're not just only building our brands. We're also building relationships. We're building friendships. We're building trust. And I've always believed that my management has always given us the best people to guide us, directors, um, workshop instructors, and everything else that we need for our career to you know, be boosted and for it to go to a direction that we want. Um, I, I, really, I really believe that this partnership will open up a lot of doors for us, a lot of opportunities to uh, like I said, improve our craft and to give us more exposure, give us more chances of showing what we can do and how much more we can do. Mirroring to what Sarah said, I think as actors we always have to keep on learning and improving our craft. So it's beautiful um, how we're learning from cross-culture and international co collaborations, especially with our Singaporean friends. And also with them as well, they're coming here to learn from us, so it's like a Beautiful, um, uh, it's a beautiful tie together. And I work with Reynold in the day I loved you. We bonded so much, and sometimes uh, we still update like our lives um, in Singapore and Manila. Um, we became great friends, and um, coming here with his new friends, uh, I think um, we. I love the chemistry, and I'm looking forward so much as actors for all of us to. Um, develop more of our skills here in the Philippines. Um, what's that? They're all like that. They don't know what to say. English, English, English. I'm going to speak to you. So, that's it. Maybe, it's a big deal because I don't know how to run out of words. Because, I mean, I'm living the dream, eh? the childhood dream. And... Hindi uh, pa ako nakapunta ng Singapore, guys. So, thank you kasi dadalhin niyo ko sa Singapore. <laughs> diba? And for, uh, for work then. And I think, uh, masasabi ko na sa nanay ko na makakilala na ako ng buong mundo. Ayan. <laughs> thank you. Si 
Mr. Rob, do you have something to add? Uh, ano po yung question na yun? Kung how will this elevator career? Siyempre sa inyo iba kasi ikaw yung nagbibida na ako. Oh, Oo, okay. uh, to be part of this collaboration, or to, to even have a movie in Singapore would be a great honor. You know, it's something new. It's a new place, new culture, new people to work with. And with what he's, what Bruno said, uh, that the, you were you were the more time strict, I think I could apply that better. I can I can adjust to that kind of setting better than a slow pace of uh, shoot. That's my biggest So excited, guys. The last question for Christiana, because your mom used to be an actress, right? So, what are your reaction to seeing how you're doing now from for hosting the games and then now, mag acting ka din. Um, opo. Yes, um, uh, uh, na, na, ang TV po yung mami ko dati, kasabi niya po si na Julina. Actually, ang kwento po niyan is, ayaw niya ako mag-artista. Lagi, I have been telling her when I was, uh, siguro I was 14 or 15 years old na, I want, I want to try, I want to be an actress, I want to audition for something. She's the one who has been stopping me from doing it na, matapos ko na ako, ganyan. And true enough, when I was in my last year of college, this opportunity came up to star alongside Julian Santos in the nation. To star. To star alongside someone. <laughs> so sorry. Like, it, it, I was given a project, um, true enough, in my last year of college. And I was so shocked to see how proud and happy she was for me. Um, she has been giving me tips, how um, she's, she does keep like reading with me. And I'm just happy to have someone in the house who knows knows the world I'm in right now. I have guidance, and I I, I just um, I'm very grateful for my mom for giving me the support, the love, and the pride that she is she's giving me right now. Oh, okay. So, kami ko basketball. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you, Pasensya. And as much as we wanted to share Miss China's first project, we are covered by an NDA. <laughs> so, for another press conference. Thank you. Yes, sir. My question goes to the heads of the company, Mr. Um, yes. Sir. Yes. Uh, may I know how this partnership will play out for the actors? Is it for the Filipino actors to find or do movies in Singapore and for the Singaporean actors to do movies in the Philippines? Or for all of them to do a project not necessarily just for the Philippines or the Singapore? How does it work for you? Well, we really plan to collaborate and do some projects here, do some projects in Singapore. And then, like uh, Sean said, you know, they have partnerships in Thailand and Malaysia. So we're really planning to expand and give them all the breaks. And also, not just uh, in show business, but also in social media, because they are brand ambassadors themselves. So that's what we're planning to do for them. Yeah, I think for us, um, we will be sourcing for jobs for, and, and, and opportunities for our Filipino actors in Singapore. And similarly, I think our Filipino partners, uh, Philippe Global, will also be sourcing for opportunities for our three Singaporean stars. And I think for me, um, I always believe that as an actor, artist, celebrity, stability is the number one thing. And that is the problem I'm trying to solve for all of them. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much. My next question goes to Raymond, Brian, and David. How are you being uh, prepared uh, to take uh, uh, Filipino projects or, or, or projects that will also cater to the Filipino? Um, I, I think for me, I, number one, I've been trying, attempting to try to watch more Filipino shows, more Asian shows in general. Uh, in the past, I've, I've traditionally mostly watched uh, Western Show. So moving forward, I've been doing my best to do that. And of course, picking up the language, I think it's very important for the market as well. For people to be able to understand me and me understand not just uh, what the cast are saying, because I think from language, we can learn a lot about culture and understanding as well. 
So I think these two are the most obvious steps that I'm going to take to you help know, bridge the gap between me and this industry. Have you been watching Filipino movies lately? Uh, I, I've been, the next show I'm going to watch is uh, you guys show, the one on Netflix. What is it? The Kill Kill. Which one? Ah, snake, snake, shake, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I'll update you on, on my talk soon. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Brian. Oh, you took the answer right out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, in the same way, I believe, I think I empathize with, uh, with, the, learn, with the language. I think language is not easy to learn. It's a lot of practice. So I think for me as well, in the same way, I would love to, well, I mean, I would have to, but I would love to start learning Tamil as well. And same as, as uh, Reynolds said, I think there's a lot to learn in language. I think in Singapore, back in Singapore, I do English and Mandarin as well. So I think even in Singapore, with English and Chinese, you, you get very different um, ways of looking at life. You know, it's, it's within the language. I think every language has different words and expressions that help you to see the world in a different lens. Uh, you, you, and because of that, you respond in a different way. So I'm very excited to learn a new language in Tagalog. Uh, I believe I'm going to learn new ways to look at life, to, look, uh, to approach a scene as well. And again, in the same way, to take it more Filipino media, more shows, more movies, and um, to, to understand the culture and the practices of the Filipino media. Do you already have a favorite Filipino actor at this point? Right here. <laughs> so you're in wrong. wrong. Yes, I mean, uh, in our discussions uh, backstage, I suppose, we are constantly told that Rob is the best actor. No, no. Yes, it's the truth. And of course, yeah, and Sarah as well. So, uh, honestly, I have to admit, I have not watched many uh, as of yet, but I am going to start right away. So, looking forward. Thank you. Preparation and uh, additional question. Can you talk more about your being Filipino? Oh, yes. Hi. Um, I think growing up, I've always come to Manila once a year for Christmas because Christmas is big for them. Uh, but most of the time I'm raised in Singapore. So I'm more exposed to English and Mandarin. And like what the boys said, um, I need to brush up my language. Because um, I can understand a little bit of Tagalog, but I'm una unable to converse in them. So there are moments where when I was younger, my family would be like, why don't you learn Tagalog? One day, we do Filipino TV, you never know. And this today is you never know. Yeah, we are here today. So, I think, um, yes, I'm going to brush out my language, I'm going to watch more uh, Filipino shows. And of course, I want to come in here with an open mind because every country has their own culture, their own style of acting. And I think the first thing to grow in and be uh, contributing to Philippine TV or to any international TV is to open and understand it and learn about the cultures, the way they do things, the way even the environment of how they carry out this uh, production and the, and the, the styles that they direct or produce the, the show. So I think it's more of being vulnerable and being open to everything. And of course, uh, I'm very impressed by, of course, uh, Robin and Sarah Evans and the rest for their acting. <laughs> I think everybody is like, wow, I have so much to learn from you guys and I'm looking forward to this collaboration. Yeah. More about you being Filipino, please. Sorry, Bob? More about you being Filipino. More about me being Filipino? Um, honestly, um, I'm my favorite food is actually I'm more I'm, okay. So one thing, one Filipino thing about me is I love desserts. I love sweets. I mean, the boys say they know that I love my sweets. So every meal I need to have my sweets. But of course, in uh, uh, what call that, uh, in moderation is right. Um, I think I honestly I'm. This is very important to me because um, recently this year uh, my Lolo passed away. And uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm from a single parent family, and my mom is, you know, and she has worked her way, she's worked hard to, you know, raise me and my brother in Singapore and to receive education and being able to travel around the world, being in Philippines, spend time with family, and you know, for Filipinos, family is the most important, and on top of like what money or what, what else, family is the most important. and. Um, I've always, want, I remember my Lolo saying like, once, if you, since you're doing Singapore TV, I hope that, you know, you'll make it big and, you know, give me some money so that, you know, like, I, I, I want to be here for success. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sad because I'm not able to show him my success in Philippines, but 
I know that he's watching over me, and I want to make him proud, my family proud. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Thanks, David. My last question goes to Brian and Reno. Um, what do you like best about Filipinos and, and the culture, Filipino culture? Because, you know, going to Singapore is an aspiration to many Filipinos, but, you know, turning the table around, what do you like best about the Philippines and the Philippines? I, I think I've got very good uh, experiences with Filipinos in general. Uh, I was brought up by a yaya. I was brought up by a yaya. So since I was born until I was like 12, she took care of me. And she has always been extremely nice to me. She treated me as though I was her own kid. Uh, so when I came here, I got that sense of feeling from Sir Mark and Sir Charlie as well who although when I first flew, flew here from Singapore, I was not officially under them yet, I felt like they still treated me as their own. So I think that we as Singaporeans, myself as well, have a lot to learn from you guys because I feel that all of you are very hospitable and always very welcoming. Yes. Do you remember the name of her? Yes, uh, her name is Aida. Aida Rosete Brabus. Thank you. Uh, Brian? In my experience with uh, the Filipino people back in Singapore, whether it's at work or in church, where um, I'm quite active and there's a lot of uh, Filipinos in my church, um, I am very impressed similarly in the hospitality, the warmth, the friendliness, the openness to, to relationship and to friendship, and I think also their, your hunger for life. I don't know whether there's a better way to put it, but uh, Filipino people feel very strongly, they love very strongly, they love very fiercely, and they're not afraid to show their emotions, which perhaps Singaporeans, Chinese, we can learn a little bit. I think uh, we tend to be a bit more closed up and reserved. So I think that's something that I've always been very impressed and very inspired uh, when I interact with Filipinos. Uh, I, so I, I think that's the, the thing that, that impresses me the most. And, I think from an acting perspective, from a professional perspective, it is also my hope that as I interact with more Filipinos, as I learn from them on set, that is something that I can add to my own uh, repertoire, as opposed to be even more authentic, a bit more uh, spontaneous, and a bit more fierce in my emotions and in how I relate to people. Fierce in a good way, of course. Passionate. No, but I mean, fierce is, is there's, a, there's a intensity to it in a good way. You know, so I think that's what I love about the Filipino people. They're just wonderful people. <laughs> uh, maybe I missed it, 